cutaneous adverse reactions are undesirable clinical manifestations to a drug which include predictable or unanticipated side effects with or without systemic involvement common type of cutaneous adverse drug reactions are classified into two non severe and severe in non severe uh, classification there are two types fixed drug eruption and maculopapular exanthomosis reactions in maculopapular exanthomosis reactions is categorized into four types then in severe card it comes under drug induced hypersensitivity acute generalized exanthomosis fasciculosis angioedema anaphylaxis erythema multiforme steven jones syndrome toxic epidermal necrolysis common presentation sudden onset of an itchy rash that is symmetrically distributed and spread rapidly may have a previous similar allergic reaction recognize danger signs mucosal lesions peripheral lesions skin tenderness bullous lesions systemic symptoms are high grade fever jaundice decreased urine output action required withdrawal we need to withdraw the offending drug immediately except life saving drugs take necessary measurements to prevent similar events prompt and urgent care at a specialized center apart from maintenance of vitals withdraw of all drugs initiation of oral or intravenous corticosteroids care of the eye evaluation of secondary infection sepsis are important history elicitation history of prior adverse drug reaction patient on polypharmacy list all the recently introduced drugs and dosage increments however all drugs should be kept in suspect list concomitant viral infections or illnesses affecting drug metabolism or excretion timelines for drug reactions and some typical examples 5 to 50 minutes anaphylaxis uteric area angioedema few hours reactivation of fixed drug eruption few hours to 2 week maculopapular exanthem erythema multiforme sjs ten first episode of fde 4 to 12 weeks dress syndrome dapson syndrome anti convulsant induced hypersensitivity syndrome first one is fde distinctive drug eruption usually recur at the same site on drug re exposure acute fde dusty red violaceous plaque with or without fasciculation or bullae common sites lip genitalia proximal extremities lower back sacrum local symptoms pruritus burning and pain solitary or numerous resolving with persistent hyperpigmentation clinical variants bullous generalized pure mucosal common drugs that cause fde sulfonamides tetracyclines quinones nsaids dapison antimalarials barbiturates nitroimidazoles refer to higher center if there are atypical symptoms uncertain diagnosis severe reaction management primary health care withdraw the drug general management bullous moist oozy lesion normal saline compresses topical steroid pentamethasone valerate cream bd for cutaneous lesions antihistamines tab phenylamine malate 25 mg bd or tid for itching review patient in one week secondary level care continue treatment as described at primary care level if severe add short course of oral steroids prednisolone 0.5 mg to 1 mg kg for 3 to 5 days tertiary level admit the patient if the episode is generalized and severe histopathology in doubtful cases if the oral mucositis is severe consider parenteral steroids provocation tests may be done after resolution of symptoms by an oral challenge with each suspected individual drug consecutively maculopapular exanthomosis reaction abrupt onset erythematosus maculopapular eruption typically start on the trunk spread symmetrically to extremities dependent area may have pruritus lesion usually accompanied by mild systemic symptoms pruritus low grade fever mild eosinophilia all drugs taken in the last 4 weeks are suspect may manifest within 48 hours if the patient has taken the drug previously 
common observed with cotrimazole, cephalosporins, anti-tubercular drugs, quinanols, dapazone, NSAIDs, anti-convulsants, nevirapine, abacavir, allopurinol, etc. Differential diagnosis, viral exanthem, rickettsial rash, HIV, Kawasaki disease. Fever and prodrominal symptoms occur before the development of rash in most viral exanthems and the drug history is usually negative prior to it. Red flag signs, mucosal involvement, purpuric lesions, bullous lesions, skin tenderness, facial or acral edema, erythroderma, systemic symptoms like high grade fever, hepatitis, renal involvement, significant isnophilia. Management, primary care, withdraw the suspect drugs, phenylamine malate 25 mg TAD, calamine lotion, refer to higher center if symptoms persist or red flag signs present. Secondary care, confirm the diagnosis by history and clinical findings. Admit if red flag signs are present. Laboratory tests, CBC. Isnophilia support the diagnosis. LFT, serum creatine, urine roti. Treatment. In severe cases, prednisolone 0.5 mg to 1 mg per kg per day, 5 to 7 days, tertiary level. Admit if red flag signs are present. Confirm diagnosis of drug rash. Additional lab tests if required. ANA, HIV, skin biopsy. Consider dress if rashes is progressing or significant organ involvement is evident. Drug provocation test. In the absence of any reliable in vitro test in clinical setting, oral drug challenge is the only way to detect the responsible drug, usually undertaken when drug avoidance is impractical, especially in case of polypharmacy or life saving medications. Take a written consent prior to challenge. Contraindicated in active illness or pregnancy. Assess the risk benefit ratio. Caution. Patients on antihistamines, oral steroids, and tricyclic antidepressants may have a modified response to the challenge. A negative test only indicates that the patient is not allergic to the drug at the time of challenge. The dose of drug for challenge depends on the severity of the previous reaction and the pharmacokinetic profile. Drug provocation should always be done. After admission, under observation, except in case of FDE, usually in the daytime so that the phenes erythema is appreciated. It should be treated immediately and aggressively with an appropriate dose of systemic steroid which may be required for 1 to 2 days. Drug provocation in cases with dress has to be avoided or is provoked a prolonged retreatment is required. In case of SJS, drug provocation should be done only if the drug cannot be avoided. Provocation is preferred with a chemically unrelatable molecule. Intradermal tests can be done in IgE mediated reactions. Patch test has a low sensitivity and should not be relied upon in severe CAD.